This is Soldier Knows Best, and I'm doing my first installment on a series going over the features of Mac OS X Leopard. Um, Leopard is the operating system that ships with every Apple computer, and it's also been touted as the best operating system ever made, and I totally have to agree with that. So what I'm going to be doing is just, like I said, going over some features. Uh, today I'm going to go over the dock and a couple of different things you can do with the desktop wallpaper management. Um, a couple of neat things there. Okay, first go over the dock, which is located at the bottom of my desktop right now. I'll zoom in for you. And the dock serves as a tool so you can quickly launch your favorite applications um, that you use most often. And um, it's very useful. And you can customize it to your liking. Um, you can arrange the icons in your dock just by clicking them and just moving them along. And you want to set this um, Safari icon right here. Just let go. Um, you can also you want to remove an icon from your dock, it's not actually removing the application, but just removing the icon. Um, you can simply just click it, push it up, and it just disappears in a cloud of dust, I guess. <laughs> um, and more things you can do with the dock um, to customize it. I open up dock preferences here, and you can change the size of it to make it smaller and make it bigger. Do that to your liking. Also, um, you can magnify and uh, magnify the icon image as you scroll over it like so so you can get a clearer picture of what you're actually trying to select and you can select this up the bigger if you're totally blind but uh... <laughs> alright there it is and you can also change the position of the dock on your screen you can have it on the left hand side and it still works the same or the right hand side and you can change the way um, open windows on your desktop close um, the different effect that the dock will use um, one effect is the scale effect and you can close an open window in leopard either by double clicking the top of the window or just clicking this yellow button right here which is, it, which is the minimize button and this is just a scale effect that I'm using here and once you um, minimize a window an open window will come on the right hand side of the dock and all you want to do if you want to open it right back up just click it one time and it'll pop right back up the effect that I use is the genie effect because it looks nice and uh, like a little genie going to his bottle and I can slow it down for you, you can slow this uh, down by holding shift and double clicking the window uh, this is truly just for show right here And you can choose to um, automatically hide or show the dock. And a couple more things about the dock. What you have here are what we call stacks. And these three folded icons right here. And I have a download stack. Let me get out of here. I have a download stack, which all the um, things that I download will come to this stack right here. And I'll be able to see them. Uh, this is my applications folder right here. I don't have all my applications sitting in my docs. So this is another quick way to reach a certain application that I'm looking for. And these are just my utilities. And you can change the way. Um, this is how app applications open up right here. That's called the uh, folder. You know, I'm displaying it as a folder, but I can display it as a stack. And it will... Um, sorry, display it as a fan. And it will fan up just like that pretty cool, pretty neat. Um, you can also have it come up as a list. And the other thing in your dock, you'll find your trash can, which, you know, just like the recycle bin in Windows. And I got something that I need to delete, so I'll just right-click it, empty trash, press OK, and it's gone. So those that's basically a quick overview of the dock. Um, it works. It makes sense. It makes life easier. Um, the second thing I'm going to go over is the desktop wallpaper management. Here's my desktop wallpaper that I have right now, and if I want to change it, I can either go to System Preferences uh, just by clicking the Apple button, and you'll find it in there. Or you can just right-click the desktop and go to Change Desktop Background. And here I have um, pictures that are stored on my computer, either through iPhoto or just on my hard drive itself. And um, as I choose which one I want to uh, make as my screensaver, I mean my wallpaper, I can just simply click it and it'll change automatically it's 
it's pretty cool pretty neat very easy way um, you can also choose to have the uh, your wallpaper change every you know five seconds minute five minutes 15 minutes all the way up to you know every day so if I want to change every five seconds just click that and about one more second it should change it's pretty neat and um, another thing you can use um, it's a free program called wall saver which you can download free from the internet It's only for the Mac and um, this will make your screensaver wherever you have as it has as your current screensaver your desktop wallpaper um, so and I want to do that I can just open it up and I just click activate and I'll activate whatever screensaver I have and make it as my uh, desktop background it's pretty cool moving image you can have videos and different stuff like that running so uh, this is a feature that uh, Windows Vista Ultimate um, has in it and then Microsoft really public size that and but ultimate costs like four hundred dollars so here it is a free program that I'll do it for the Mac and if you want to just get back to your regular desktop wallpaper just click restore and you can change your screensaver set, um, preferences from here also So um, you can choose whatever uh, screen server you want from here. And once you're done there, you can go back to the wall saver and just click activate again. And then there you go. All right, this has been a uh, quick introduction of some a couple features in Mac OS X Leopard. Uh, this has been Soldier Knows Best. Subscribe to my videos where I do videos like this all the time on technology, especially everything dealing with Apple. Um, so stay tuned and subscribe to my channel. Peace.